today we have a special video about KitKat because here we have four crunchy KitKats. Which one is the best one? Today is also a really rainy wet day here in Perth, Western Australia. I put a little video clip in for you so you can see. This is my back garden here. Here you can see my mango tree. Here's the tamarind tree and the bigger one here. This is the uh, fig tree and uh, and behind the fig tree there's the mango tree and the mango tree is actually already flowering so yeah ready for the mangoes so i was thinking to start the video here with the uh, with the little uh, Yes, sir. 
deliciously smooth milk chocolate. I mean, they they describe it so nicely that you just just want to eat it immediately. And last but not least, this is the one that I I never had before, and this is uh, Kit Kat Crunchy Oreo. Crisp wafer finger with three breakable chunks filled with irresistible bubbly arrow, mint flavored choco encased in a deliciously smooth milk chocolate. Oh. <sighs> this is sounding great. I, I can't wait to get into it. Uh, So, so let's start with this chunky gooey caramel. Now what I want to do, I just want to dissect it. So, so we can actually have Feeling that you are in love again. That feeling that you you really feel alive. That's what when I eat this one. Saturday now and, uh, and I just finished my work earlier you know if you don't know I am um, um, I have a um, work that is um, in the mental health field uh, especially well, how should I say, my title is Community Mental Health Support Worker. So I go and uh, uh, support clients with that as mental health di directly. And, um, and I work uh, in a way that uh, I use my own car. I drive from home to the client where they live, would that be at home or in a hostel? And my supports can go from two hours to four hours long. And I often drive them to hospitals or, or to other places and uh, sometimes we just go shopping or, or we even go to a movie. And 
this week has uh, has probably been one of the more difficult one I ever done. traffic 
it's 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 a serious consequences because we are not covered by any insurance so i'm driving so i was driving him back thinking that if I just get him quickly back back away from from the shopping center so the general public don't have to deal with him his, his friend was okay but he um, he became increasingly unwell See, one of the things is that uh, when a person becomes mentally unwell and they can fool you and they can, they can fool anybody because it's not just the person that is speaking, it's the mental illness that takes over and, and he wanted to go to McDonald's and, uh, and have a drink. It's um, it 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 is a uh, support accommodation and and um, counseling place for Aboriginals that we go to. And one of the things is that they do is they they offer Aboriginals free coffee. Now, we are both white and we don't really look like Aboriginals, but they, they still give us coffee and I'm always embarrassed to go there and uh, I mean, not because the coffee is not really for us, but nevertheless they, they smile and they make a coffee and, and my client is talking gibberish is talking um, talking anything that is coming out from his mouth like uh, example like the founder of mcdonald's is not ray rock no no it's donald trump and donald trump was flipping hamburgers for one dollar at the time and uh, 
drinking the coffee and then he said, I want to see my mom, I want to see my mom. mom is in a nursing home about um, at, 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 at least a 30 minutes drive from where we live now nowhere no, where he lives and uh, I said that um, well it's it's not really you know we no no we will be really late late to see your mom because your your no your mom is <laughs> is 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 it it is just certain visiting hours um, you know no between like twelve you know I think one uh, from from one to two he's permitted permitted to visit his mom because he has multiple restraining orders against him by his sister um, that um, that uh, uh, he thinks that is like the, uh, um, the the first person on the earth and uh, the, the restraining orders are just in there to protect her mother from his behavior and and I uh, think like, well, if we drive now, we can make maybe make it and not to go and see your mom. So I, 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 I start to drive uh, and I drive over to the nursing home. sit next to me uh, and I can see he's coming more unwell and it's difficult to handle so he's um, picking up his cigarettes like he has these cigarettes that you can roll in a paper but well, uh, I think you call it rollies and he roll them and he start to smoke them in and I start to smoke a cigarette inside my car. I knew then that I was in trouble. I was in trouble. And the support. was just gonna go worse and worse. There 
there is three people in the car. It's me, my client, and the mental health. The 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 the, um, the mental health had totally changed my client. The demeanor, the way he was speaking, the way he was acting. Um, he, um, he, he, when he was smoking, he, 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 um, he did realize that uh, that uh, he had a cigarette in the mouth anymore. So, so, so he smoked half and, and was eating up the other half in his mouth while I'm driving. And uh, and I'm, oh, I know that this was going to be difficult. Well, in the end, then we um, arrived to the nursing home. He jumps out, and he has like a two jackets on top of each other one hoodie and a one big big black duffel jacket and uh, and he take the hoodie over the head and and uh, and he's running around in front of the uh, nursing home smoking and uh, and uh, but 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 he little bit calm down, little bit calm down because his his mom is now se seventy two years old. Uh, father died about six months ago, and uh, I went with him to the funeral, but but we were. Um, uh, we were, if it was me and another support worker, and we was, we was since you know, you know instructed that if, if there is any incident that happened during the funeral, we we have to uh, physically remove him, you know. I take under the one arm and he under the other arm, and we just drag him out. Anyway, we come from the funeral, but luckily, luckily, that went good. So, crunchy cookie dough. I'm looking forward to this one. This could be really good. Uh, I never had this one before. I'm eating a little bit more chocolate now, but but uh, well, it's uh, it's um <laughs> it's been a bit unusual week for me to this week. And 
I repeat it four or five times. And uh, and um, when and I was thinking, okay, maybe I can still rescue this support. Maybe if uh, my client, after meeting his mom, he comes down and and uh, things go well because sometimes happens that clients emotion goes up and then they go down um, one, uh, one way is that if you are in trouble it's just to keep keep them um, happy so in the cafeteria there I could make a couple of um, coffee is there and I have a, they, they, they have a really sophisticated good coffee machine where you can make coffees for free so I made a couple, a couple of coffees one for him and one for me and and, um, and then the um, he, he start to talk about this elaborate uh, conspiracy theories um, we are drinking the coffees and um, and I was thinking that my client would come come down because sometimes their emotion you know, in the beginning or the support goes up and they get really upset but then it mellows down if they they sort of can do something that they they, they, they like and that has always been my strategy that that if my, if, no, no, if my client getting unwell is if you can't take them home straight away um, you know then uh, then you um, just try to keep them happy and minimize their exposure to other people and uh, it didn't work, my, my client becoming increasingly more delusional and, and, uh, and angry and, and he's talking about this conspiracy theories that he has in his mind that, uh, that the, the, uh, there are these um, sophisticated um, conspiracy groups groups that is taking over Australia and, uh, and they are uh, doing drug trades and his sister is involved and he's one of the major players and and all his assets got got um, you know stolen from him and uh, well, I, well, I don't know I can't even repeat how how incredible the stories is like I uh, I example had the uh, uh, support with my co coordinator and I told him like hey I get um, these text messages he's sending me and these are three to four hundred word long text messages and on Sunday um, I got nine of them and uh, my coordinator told me back that hey I actually got 43 messages from him on Sunday and what was happening it was exactly the same message Everything, and then he, uh, then he said that his mother always drank orange, you know, carrot juice, and uh, we need to 
the bring the bring his mother a bottle of carrot juice so she, she can drink and the mother is becoming confused she don't really know what's happening uh, she knows that is her son and she know that I'm the driver of the son but but um, but she can see that he's unwell and she's um, she's no, she's almost 80 years old now and, and quite fragile and can't can't walk anymore and and um, then I said something that really changed the whole support I have a duty of care and it's my duty to take him back to the hostel where he lives and uh, he, I started to swear and curse and he was looking me at me and, and, uh, and things really got bad after that one
if you have a situation that 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 every, everything that the client is too violent, you you are you 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 have to distance yourself and you call the police at. Um, thinking what what should I do what should I do and I was thinking about my training and the training was that when things like this happen you need to act professionally not emotionally professionally because if you act by emotion you probably do the wrong decision but professionally you 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 will stick to a step, step by step and uh, when, uh, when what was was happening um, um, I, I I got him into the car and I was thinking like if 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 it's becoming too bad I pull off all over the road I go out I probably have to unlock the door lock lock him inside the car and just call the police and uh, and, uh, and 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 I was just starting to drive and it was about I think it took about 40 minutes to drive back and I didn't say a single word not a single word because I was getting it. I was. I was really, really. I. 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 I really got hammered. Can't really repeat what. 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 Uh, what they said. You know what. What. Uh, what they said on this channel, but. But it wasn't pleasant. And it was so tense, and it's one of those situations you could almost cut, cut the ear with the knife.
relationship is damaged, it's very hard to uh, to fix it anymore.
See, when I was just really starting this mental health work, and when I had situations like 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 this, I, I was actually thinking I could I could just turn it around because what makes it difficult as a support worker to cut the support is that you have spent so many countless of hours hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of hours together for a couple of years and um, and it's and it's almost like you would well well lose a friend you know you know no 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 you are uh, um, you you are there to assist and help you can be friendly but not too familiar they, 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 they need to be that professional line line there and uh, And, and uh, yes, yeah, so it's um, it was kind of feeling quite 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 bad here and uh, so. but but I done this with I think five guys five five different supports because the support just if it was just way, way too difficult to to um, support the client for various reasons uh, I love this crop cup try to be normal the toughest 30 seconds of my life so um, um, you know, today then when I was driving home, I was thinking, hey, uh, I would really like, like, like to have a little bit of chocolate here. And um, so I saw this Kit, Kit Kats here, and uh, when they look, looked really well, and I thought, well, I'll make a Kit Kat video, and just... And I just tell about my week, you know. And you know, it's a. <laughs> I could I could tell you. I could tell you story after story after story, but. Yeah. Okay, guys, but uh, but everything is good now. Everything is okay. It's just. Uh, Thing, thing that you don't really want to do, but you have to cut the relationship called Turkey. Thank you. I wish you all the best. Goodbye. So, what did we have today? Today we had the crunchy, gooey caramel. Then we had the I think 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 this is the normal crunch. This is the crunch gooey. And then we had the one that the crunchy cookie dough. And then in a crunchy area mint. Now Nestle is doing a good job. They they really make make these ones really good. Uh, so, which one is my favorite? They are all good. They are all good, but because I'm I'm biased to toffee. I love toffee, but my <laughs> so my my dentist has prohibited me to eat toffee and minties, especially minties. I had a client that once gave me a, a minty in a mental health ward and it was really good. Eating it until I had a crutch in my mouth. It pulled out one of my
feelings it, that means it cost me 1360 Australian dollars to fit in the crown so if you sometimes see me with a gold crown here in my mouth flashing that's the minty that's the minty so, but this uh, this one is good because it's not so true so the winner for me is the crunchy gooey caramel and when we had this uh, saba tea um, from uh, Malaysia was really good uh, well guys I'm fine I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my week um, but uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's the thing like uh, when you have a client that um, you know the support is not functioning anymore you have to cut and just replace and um, that's the way it is my job um, um, what do you think about the video like like this um, telling a little bit uh, telling a little bit what's what's uh, what's actually happening in the real world out there uh, to do do you like videos like this i can make you more videos <laughs> like this <laughs> please comment uh, let me know that will help me a lot and also if you haven't subscribed please subscribe there's plenty left uh, I will make more interesting videos here yeah. so thanks again guys thank you for supporting it means a lot take care and guys see you in the next one bye